Well, hello everyone. Good morning. It is Friday, TGIF, October the 2nd, 2020. Wow. I don't know if you can tell, but I got my handy dandy haircut yesterday. And whether it looks good or not, I'm going to tell you right now. It feels good. And that's really the main thing sometimes when we do things for ourselves like that, right? But anyway, the Lord be with you this morning and, um, and bless you. Um, let me pray and then I'll, I'll open up. Lord Jesus, um, I just pray that whatever words are going to come out of this mouth today will be honoring to you based on just the passage I'm just looking at and sharing back out to um, other travelers, Lord, on the path. And that hopefully through these times together, Lord, <clears throat> we can get them not only on the path, but on the narrow path, Lord. And, and to walk consistently throughout their life along with me, Lord, following you wherever you lead. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, so I, I went out <clears throat> this morning and tried to, you know, get my old fart self out there and walk, you know, getting better um, on the beach in the morning. Tough life, I know. Um, but, you know... Those little small blessings in our life or something. But I was just walking out there today as the sun was coming up and listening to um, my music on uh, on my Apple Watch that you know I had I've been blessed to have and um, listen to some really really good music. Sometimes I just go out there and I don't listen to anything. I just I just walk and look at the ocean and try to talk to God. And sometimes my words are just just thoughts of him and what what he's trying to say to me and looking for that still small voice i'll take a loud one too and uh just tears kind of came out of my eyes this morning consistently as i walked uh, that doesn't mean i'm spiritual it just means that somehow the lord was touching me and i don't really know i don't really know what it was about i mean i've got a lot of things going on in my life as as do you i'm sure but um you know the lord was with me today and hopefully throughout the day Maybe he'll reveal to me a little bit of what that is. Um, but we'll get started. Just remember, if you like these um, these videos and they help you in your walk uh, in any way, shape, or form, be sure to share it out. But also go in and hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell and hit all so that these will come to your to your feed each day or each time I do one. And you can, you can watch those and share them with others if they're meaningful because um, that's the purpose you know, of this. So we talked yesterday about, um, you know, seeking and knocking, and so I won't rehash that. We were going to finish uh, verses 12 and 13, and 12 through 14 we didn't get to, so we'll see if we can finish that, and then we'll, we'll talk about maybe going to verse 15, and we'll see where we go based on our time. But we read yesterday, so whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. So that's a, that's a powerful verse. Um, Jesus talking about the golden rule, which we all know, which we've all um, been raised up under. If you live in the United States, for sure, you've, you've heard that. Um, if you have any kind of decent people in your life at all, um, you've heard that from you know the cradle to till now, and, and you'll probably hear it to the grave. And it's a good, it's a good rule. It's, Jesus says this is the law and the prophets. The second half of the law, of course, and Jesus is the is the new lawgiver explaining what the law really means in our hearts, not just some outward observance. So we've been talking about this and belaboring this issue. <clears throat> that um, it's the last five commandments. You know, the first five are about loving God and obeying God and not taking His name in vain and all these things. And the last five are about how we treat others, not not coveting, you know, do not murder things of this nature. How we treat other people. We, we cannot love God. You know, Jesus also said that the law and the prophets was summed up in, you know, love Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And that it, all of it hung on those two things. Well, this is kind of likewise. It's like, you know, you can't really, um, you can't love God or say that you love God because that's relatively easy to do. And then um, not love others. And as a result, do unto them the same way that you would would want something done to you. Well, Paul talks about men, men and women and, and man and wife relationships too. And he talks about, you know, the man caring for his wife like he cares for his own body, like he cares for his own self. So if you 
do something for yourself that makes you feel good that's good you you endeavor to do the same thing for your for your wife and and or you for if your ladies for your husband and obviously it's reciprocal both ways so the golden rule is kind of pretty golden you know what i'm saying and the next verse is really really the uh the backdrop of the whole reason that that i started not writing now a couple of months ago now and to see if maybe some of these random crazy hopefully spiritual thoughts um i could put in a in a youtube video setting um to talk about that too but jesus says you know and this is like i say this is when i started my blog this is what my thoughts were and then um then when i started this a few months ago what my thoughts were continuing to be is this as this uh, YouTube channel is called The Narrow Path Live and in, and in Color, obviously, for obvious reasons. But he says, Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. Come on, Jesus. Why did you have to make it like that? And those who find it are few. Hmm. It's interesting. If we get there today, we will. He goes right into talking about a, a tree and its fruit. The, you know, um, you'll recognize them by their fruit and that um, a healthy tree can't bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. And he'll go into that famous passage of, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, is going to enter in the kingdom of heaven. So really, he's kind of really just feeding into that, that, that whole idea that um, we are to enter, enter through the narrow gate. And um, the gate is, 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 is um, wide that goes the other way that leads to... Um, and the way is easier. It's it's easier to go the way of the world, the wide gate, the gate that everybody, all the sheeple are going on. Um, it's easy to go in that. It's still very very difficult, mind you. It's very difficult. Uh, you know, pain and suffering is not prejudice, so it comes on everybody, whether you're you're just or unjust, uh, rich or poor. It it seems to divvy out pretty much the same. Um, Wealth and things can cushion some of that. Security can cushion some of that. But at the end of the day, uh, you're four score and ten. However long the good Lord gives you, um, you're not going to be able to escape both pain and suffering that's not prejudice and also the law of sowing and reaping. Whatever you're sowing and uh, out, out, out there, you're going to reap. That's a very wide gate. It's the gate everybody's on. It's the gate that when you see people on social media and you hear people talk about things the majority of them are spouting off at the mouth about things that sound like charlie brown's teacher they're not worth much of your time i would highly encourage you to not listen to those people jesus said that's a wide gate that leads to destruction and those who enter by it are many um you know jesus jesus saved jesus loves everybody jesus wants us all to know him this is true but Jesus tends to tell us that even though we, we, we put that invitation out there to people over and over again, and we, we hopefully try to love God and, and enough that we get it right so that we can love others and they can see the Lord in us and they ask the reason of the hope that is in us and, and in all these things. But that the fact of the matter, at the end of the day, we like that term, you know, he still says that those who are going to go that way are many. It's just they're going to figure out that yeah, the way of, of, of destruction is, is wide, but it seems like, you know, all my friends are going to go to hell anyway, right? So, that, you know, there's that philosophy. Or, you know, it's just life's too hard. Or, you know, like I just, you know, I just need things. Or I just, you know, I need this, 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 uh, this thing that satisfies me more than I need um, to really tap into what God um, may be trying to get my attention about. And so the next thing you know, fast forward our life, and we've forgotten these things, and and then it's kind of like too late, or we maybe have a, a deathbed conversion, and I'm, I'm sure, quite frankly, that the Lord honors those. 
but I don't think it's the way to live the life. I don't think that's what the Lord is 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 um, commissioning uh, to you and I. It's um, part of the upside down kingdom is that the way that really leads to life, to the eternal life, to Jesus who is the life and the light, uh, to Jesus who Peter said, you alone have the words uh, to eternal life, so where else are we going to go? I hope you've come to that conclusion. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, maybe close with that uh, in a message that I'm going to speak on this Sunday, uh, Lord willing. But the way that leads to life is hard, and, and, and we've talked about this a lot. The reason that it's hard, that it's difficult, is because it, it, is, it is a narrow path. There's not much room to walk there, but it's a narrow path, and, and it's going you know, in the opposite direction of everybody. Uh, most everybody that has an influence in your life sometimes. It can be your parents. It can be your doctor. It can be your wife. You know, Job's wife said, "Curse God and die." It can be your friends. It can be, it can be your your employer. It, it oftentimes is. It can be your um, people that you work with. It, it could be, uh, you know, a whole, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a whole group of those kinds of scenarios and people that are going in the opposite direction, and yet. Jesus is saying, you know, life, the way to life is a narrower path. And, and you're probably, I think, it's safe to say, hopefully if you've walked with Jesus any length of time, you can, and, and you've lived to tell about it, past the, a benefit package of Christianity that used to be, not so much anymore. If you've walked past that, you've realized that sometimes, um, I use this term, um, that um, that the way of the narrow path is a way of um, sometimes it's a lonely path. Sometimes you're the only one on the path that, in your little circle for a while, maybe for a long time. Maybe you're out there. I mean, there's some people in other countries right now that are suffering for the faith, and they may be like the only one. Maybe there's just a few of them, and they stick pretty close together. We should probably stick close together too, even though we have more here. <laughs> Already, we have more that say they're on the path, but the ones that are on the narrow path that recognize their sinfulness, recognize their struggles, but that also, quite frankly, recognize that slowly but surely, the more they walk with Jesus, the more they realize there's not much else in this world. It, it started. The world is starting to lose its luster. Sure, we enjoy beauty. I enjoy the ocean. I enjoy beautiful people and, 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 and beautiful children and, 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 and all these other wonderful things in life, you know, beautiful flowers, all, all the majestic beauty of the world that God has given us to enjoy, which should draw us to him, by the way. Paul talks about that. But it, it, it's, it starts outside of that um, being around uh, people and sheeple um, and being around systems and things and looking the way the world is going. And we, we don't really need to talk a lot about that right now, do we? Um, we start to realize that, you know, the path is, is narrow. And, and you know, we're kind of, we kind of, if you kind of get to a point like me where you're kind of okay with that, you're kind of okay. My wife says, you know, hey, you know, Mark, you're kind of, you're getting kind of strange in your old age. You should probably, you probably should be a monk. The only problem is I like girls. So that probably wouldn't have worked. And you know, I like that girl, you know, Paula. A lot. So, yeah, so I probably couldn't have been a monk. But outside of that, you know, if I could just, you know, you know, see her on the weekend or no, I'm kidding. Um, there's a part of me that the older I've gotten in the faith, um, uh, sometimes being alone is, is um, probably more comfortable than being around a lot of people sometimes. Doesn't make me more spiritual. Just hopefully makes me observant. Hopefully, makes me and makes you somebody who's really trying to uh, find that narrow path. Um, those who find it, you know, the Word of God says, you know, are actually few. And, um, you know, that saddens me, I think, in our day and age right now, especially where we're at, regardless of, you know, where you're at on the political spectrum. I, I, I say this in love to those of you who are not on the side that I think, you know, Religious people who who attempt to be astute in their faith are um, that I'm I'm increasingly just beginning to question how um, how we can um, in a country where we have the freedom to vote regardless of how we like a certain person 
that we cannot that we would vote or even think twice to to vote for that which are um biblical godly um justices godly um um godly actions godly policies if you will things that are that are that that take into consideration um the things that are dear to god god's heart life and many other things we could go on it's not meant to be political, but I'm increasingly having a difficult time, though I, I still love those people and I have friends that are on that. I, I think if I can put it out there, the reason why they're having a difficult time and still on that side, which I don't understand personally, although I, I, I accept it and I have to love those people, is um, maybe it's because they haven't really been on the narrow path. It doesn't make us better. Just simply saying that... Um, being on the narrow path causes you to see things that maybe other people don't see. That does that make you better? I don't know. Hopefully, it makes you better at staying on the narrow path, though. Um, I'll leave that for you. I pray that God just burn that into you today and give it some thought. I don't. I'm the type of person, even when I preach, you know, I'm, I'm. I don't always try to give the answer. Yeah, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. You know, it's kind of like a. You know uh, the philosophy uh, test that I was given. You know, in, <laughs> in college, you know, it's like uh, two questions uh, explain. You know, you got two pages to do that. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to be that way, but I just think sometimes the easy pat answers are not the answer. In fact, Jesus just wants us to um, really study to show ourselves approved, and but also just to seek Him with all of our heart and and to try to find those answers and. And be Bereans who, um, the book of Acts says, you know, they, they listen to see whether the things that were being said to them were actually true based on the word of God. That has to be at least a starting point. That way you live your life in every facet somehow has to be from A to Z what this book is saying overall. Not little jots and tittles, not little pieces you pull out that... You know, your little freak flag that you want to fly that you think is the most important thing in the world and everybody should do it. But no, what what does the scripture say? What does it teach as a whole? And to try to discern that and to live in that way. But anyway, I, I wish you a wonderful and great day. God bless you and love you. Take care.